Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Alton Emmel, the national park here, about four hours away from Almaty. So it's quite far. Um, I would not recommend you come here by yourself. The roads are not great. It's a little bit difficult to get to. So it's definitely worth coming here with a tour guide on a 4x4, um, which we have conveniently done. So excited to see how this gets along. Um, the group is really great as well. So yeah, let's show you around. Welcome to see Kazakhstan. Yeah, there's loads. You <laughs> you you have to say something. You have to say welcome to Kazakhstan. Welcome to see Kazakhstan. Hi. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another vlog where we are gonna be exploring in this video the outskirts of Almaty. So we're gonna be going on four well three day trips which goes over four days. So today we are starting in Alton Emel. Um, and right now I'm on dried lava. That looks fit. very interesting structure. We are a tour group of five people. <laughs> they're, they're watching me. Oh no, they're up there. Beautiful landscape. To be honest, I feel like I'm in Botswana. Very, very interesting landscape. You see there's videos on like TikTok and everything and it's like... This is not Botswana, this is Kazakhstan. This is not wherever, this is Kazakhstan. This is one of those videos. Ah, oh, FOMO, I want a photo there. They don't need you You're dropping off. Impressive to see. Right, so let's go back down. Um, so, as you probably, hopefully, have watched the Almaty City video, You'll be able to see there's a few things to do in Almaty, but most of the things that you can do here and most of the tourist attractions and the lakes and the kind of parks that you can see are here kind of in the surrounding areas around Almaty. Um, so... <laughs> But um, yeah, no, it's really, really beautiful so far. Very vast landscape. You just don't, I don't know. The vibe so far is nice. It's a really, really nice group, which is great. <laughs> They're really fun, actually. They keep laughing at me. Right, okay. Let's climb up. Let's try and get a better view. So these, what the board said was that this area used to be kind of mountains taller than Mount Vesuvius and Mount Etna um, and so you've got this kind of very red maroon I call it maroonish color and these beautiful structure which is very artistic it's very beautiful um, which is dried up lava although they're ruining my view I can tell we're gonna have a lot of fun these next four days <laughs>
things are really cute. <laughs> like wherever you go in this Alton Emil Park, they've got these picture frames and it kind of gives you the most ideal view. And you take a nice photo inside, it's really cool. I wanted to show you guys, like, close up, if you can see the colours, because the colour scheme, and this is a really famous mountain range, the Aktal Mountains, and um, it's very windy, I'm, I do apologise for the shaking. One thing that my grandparents always say, my grandma in particular, she'd always kind of say, just look at photos. You know, why do you have to go there? Just look at photos. Satisfy yourself by looking at that. It does not even compare 1% on a phone, on a video camera, on a professional camera, to what you see in person. The colours, the schematics, the wind, the just general pattern, the vibe and the atmosphere that you feel in these mountain ranges is just absolutely out of this world. It really does feel like another world here in Kazakhstan. Okay, so we are now hiking, I think, <laughs> in the Aktal Mountains, in the Aktal Mountain Range, and we're actually walking on a dried up river, which is really interesting because you can... Uh... no dead fish here, because I don't think fish swim in these rivers, but you can see kind of the crevices and it's really interesting. If not, I'm just gonna shout. But, you know, I, I have to be honest, I've had some preconceptions. Obviously, my experience on the Almaty was not great on the first day. But, you know, I've obviously released this videos first, these videos from Kazakhstan. But I've actually been in Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan already for the past two weeks. And coming back to Kazakhstan, now exploring, you know, I've had preconceptions that how can it be as beautiful as Kyrgyzstan? It can't, because Kyrgyzstan is and I can't wait for you guys to see those videos. Kyrgyzstan is one of the most, if not the most, beautiful country I've ever been to in my life. Uzbekistan, the most beautiful country in terms of architecture. Kyrgyzstan for nature. So it's like coming here, how can it beat, you know, these countries? How is it going to live up? Have I done these countries in the wrong order? Doing Kazakhstan last? Should I have done Kazakhstan first and left Uzbekistan till last? But you come here and, and it's... It's no less impressive than what you see in Kyrgyzstan. The architecture in Almaty is no less impressive than the architecture in Tashkent in Uzbekistan. And it's very, very interesting and, and I'm, I'm very glad that I have come here last and I'm doing my tours because I think Kyrgyzstan caught me so off guard. Uzbekistan was so hyped up and absolutely completely 100% worth all of it. So I'm really, really glad that I did that. And Kazakhstan coming here, it's totally worth coming here. That's the first thing to say. Out of all the countries, it's probably promoting tourism the most out of all the Stan countries. <laughs> Sorry, Miko. Um, but it's, it's just, it's beautiful. It's very unexpected, I have to say. I didn't expect it to be as beautiful. And the surrounding areas of Almaty are the main things to come to Kazakhstan for. We will be going to the capital, Astana, as well. However, yeah, it's just really beautiful. It, it's, I keep bringing it back to those TikToks, but it is like those TikToks. You can go to places in the world for your Grand Canyon, and you can go to Arizona, you can go to Italy for your mountains and your lakes and Switzerland. But this is one of those places, it's just completely off the beaten path. I see a little bit of the white cliffs of Dover. You've got white mountains, the colourful colours of Arizona and the canyons, the trees of Botswana and the barren land of Namibia. And it's all here in Kazakhstan. And 
I'm very glad that I've flown into Kazakhstan and that is thanks to Air Astana. But the other thing about coming to this country, coming to this area, coming to this region is the fact that you have the other countries here. Come to Kazakhstan, but come to Kazakhstan also to go to Kyrgyzstan and to go to Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan. Um, yeah, leaving me speechless, it really is. <laughs> I've made the mistake of going above the canyon to walk rather than in the river and I may be lost um, but don't worry I'm not panicking <laughs> as long as I don't see a snake we're all good guys yeah we're all good so everybody just stay calm very much reminds me of Wadi Rum is it Wadi Rum? No, Petra, sorry. Petra in Jordan. Wadi Rum is the Mars Desert. Also reminds me of that, actually. Um, also, Arizona, the um, Grand Canyon. Look, it's so beautiful. Right. I hope they haven't forgotten about me. No, I'm too big of a personality for people to forget about me. She is, she is a star. I am filming her. Hi, Barbie. <laughs> Should we run? <laughs> As if. I don't run. I just, I'm very serious. I don't run. I'm not sure this path has has passed the UK safety and health check but never fear ladies and gentlemen me I am your British investigator I shall determine if it is safe or not it's probably more dangerous coming down than it is going up but Everything I do, I do for you guys. So please like and subscribe. Thank you. Got it. Barbie says it's too dangerous. I have emerged at the top, victorious. And there's Barbie. Wow. <coughs> Sorry, asthma. Okay. Well, it was difficult getting up. To be honest, I think the trouble will be getting down. So uh, if you're not wearing appropriate shoes, I'm wearing my tennis shoes. So um, hopefully they've got a little bit more grip because they should be used to clay courts. But not that I play tennis, by the way. I want to, but I don't. So it may be a problem getting down. So it has not passed the UK health and self safety check just yet, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for the full, what do they call it? Certificate of approval. Oh, I'm tired, I'm tired. Right, I think I'm being young, dumb and reckless because I'm not an experienced hiker, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> right, 
So, as you can notice, half the group have uh, opted to choose life today. And fortunately, for the first time actually, probably in my vlogs, I have not chosen that option. Not to say I've chosen death, not ready yet, God, please, thank you. But uh, this one's actually not that bad. To go up further is not that bad. To come up, I mean, we came from down there, right? It's intense, very intense. But we've come at a beautiful time where the sun is about to set. So Welcome back to another day where we are going to be exploring the singing dunes here in Alton Emil National Park and you can probably see them behind me and they look stunning so really excited let's go check it out it's like proper sand I mean I don't really know what I was expecting but no but like I feel like I'm in Dubai or Namibia or Bolivia <laughs> with Kazakhstan Take that, Borat. You know, there's this preconception, actually. When I was coming to Kazakhstan, most people were like, oh, Borat. There's more to Kazakhstan than Borat, ladies and gentlemen. So just to make that clear to you guys. The group are all readied. Miho is covered up. She's not getting a tan on this trip. <laughs> I forgot my hat. I feel like an idiot because it is very warm. But I'm very, what do Americans say? Guys, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked to yeah, climb this. Yeah. Oh, really? Do you think it's better? It'll get sand True, but I don't want my feet to get burnt. It's beautiful sand. Sand is everywhere. It's very windy. Barefoot. I love the French. If you're watching this and you're French, make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> because I love you. <laughs> barefoot? What do you, how do you say it in English? You say barefoot? <laughs> barefoot. No, no, no. Barefoot. Or maybe it is better if I go shoeless. <laughs> I'm like slipping. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, where's my camel? Oh god. Right, I'm going to take off my shoes. Like the rest of the group has done. I was just being stubborn. Okay, so I've taken my shoes off. The sand is actually pretty hot. I have sensitive feet, guys. But um yeah, this is really interesting. I did not expect this from Kazakhstan at all. This is so fun, it's so beautiful, it's so authentic. I'm so impressed, I'm so impressed. Look at that. Look at the way the sand just blows off. I'm really excited. I, I'm, I have it in my plans to go to Namibia. And this is what I imagine Namibia looks like. Look at that. It's such a diverse landscape. And what else do you expect from one of the largest countries in the world? You know, it's going to have microclimates and it's going to have different landscapes, but this is unreal.
No, this is not unreal. This is Kazakhstan. Do you like what I did then? <laughs> That's quite nice. Anyway, thank you. From the singing dunes. So to hear the singing dunes, apparently you have to jump or you have to go down or I don't know what. You have to basically be on the actual dune, but it's very steep. <laughs> and so I'm currently considering and weighing up if I should go. All right, I'm gonna do it. Subway surfer style. Aye. Oh, I have sand everywhere, but I've travelled far. Over many seas and many deserts, many nights. I don't know why I did that, I really shouldn't have done that. Ah! Oh, it's hot! 